If you're a vest guy, the Canis Altai vest is the vest for you. I don't. <laughs> it sounds like it's a commercial. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Kyle here with Drake, here to do another review. Today we're gonna to be reviewing the Canis Altai Vest. So for some of you that have been following along with the channel, Dakota did a review back in August talking about the Canis gear and what he likes to run, one of them being the Altai jacket. Uh, I like to run the Altai Vest for various reasons and we're gonna go ahead and jump into some of the reasons why I like it and some of the differences and similarities between the two. Some of the things we'll be looking at, four things, we'll be looking at fabric, weight, pockets and zippers, and my overall opinion and experience with the vest. So let's dive into fabric. The vest is made out of two different types of Cordura fabric, with that dark green being that three-layer storm proof, and that lighter green being that four-way stretch fabric. Laying it down here, you can see that four-way stretch fabric is on the pockets, the chest pocket, flipping it over. You can also see that it has back pockets right here, which comes in pretty useful. It goes up the spine, has a little breathable holes, and that nice canis logo on it and it goes up to the collar and on the shoulders. And just like the Altai jacket, the vest is also brushed with that polyester fleece in the inside. So with that overhead view, you can see just how stretchy that four-way stretch fabric is. Um, the, the vest has a very athletic fit to it. And if you're somebody like me who carries around a pack all season, you know how restricting it can be. And with that four-way stretch fabric, it really counterbalances your range of motion. And on the other hand, if you're somebody who uh, utilizes a tree stand for some of their hunting, uh, this vest is also for you. Trust me, last year for an entire week in one of the units that we were hunting in, I was having to have my bag on and climb up to this tree stand that had no ladder at all. And I was just reaching for branches and things like that. Um, and I was able to get up and down, no problem. So the fabric out of the way, moving on to the pockets and zippers, I already did state that there are some similarities and some differences. Uh, one of the differences being that actually the vest has a chest pocket and also two back pockets. Now the two back pockets, I actually didn't really utilize or find that find it that useful um, but I'm sure that you could find some ways to use them and they're there if you need them. So all five pockets have five zippers. Uh, they're not aqua guarded like some of the garments that Canis offers but just has that standard YKK zipper. And so since we're still on the back there's something that I definitely want to mention and it's that uh, four-way stretch fabric that's going along the spine is actually ventilated if you can see to keep you cool on those warmer days. So as far as weight goes, uh, the website doesn't exactly state the weight of the vest, but on their website it does state the weight for the jacket. The jacket is 16 ounces. Taking that into consideration, uh, just taking off the sleeves, having it be the same fabric, cut, and style, I'm guessing it's probably around 11 to 10, 10 ounces, which is very light. So last topic I want to cover is just my overall opinion and, ex and experience with the vest and how I like it. Obviously, I love it. It's one of my favorite vests. Um, it's not 100% waterproof, but it is water repellent and keeps you plenty warm. And so when I say plenty warm, it is not an insulated vest. It is meant to be a lightweight soft shell. So for someone like me who runs really warm, all I need is that base layer and paired with this vest, I'm usually very comfortable uh, versus someone like Dakota who runs really cold. He needs a lot of layers to keep himself warm. Uh, for example, I think it was like 30 degrees in September. We we're staying out there in the cold morning trying to bugle and locate. All I had was that chamois quarter zip with this vest and that kept me plenty warm. So my all around opinion about the vest is I love it. Uh, I do wish it came in the alpha pattern, but Canis only offers it in the grape leaf pattern, just like the, the jacket. Uh, but if you're somebody that likes solid colors, then obviously this is right up your alley. Also, I wanna mention uh, this vest isn't just for hunting. You can wear it casually. Uh, I wear it casually all the time and a lot of times I wear it to work. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you guys are interested in Altai Vest, go ahead and go to canisathlete.com. Or if you guys are interested in the Altai Vest or any other of their garments, go ahead and leave a comment down below, and we'll try to answer your questions in a timely fashion. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We do videos like this all the time. If you guys want to see our most recent Canis review, I'll leave it up here for you guys, and we'll see you in the next one.